I guess you are watching this video because your computer is running with an issue here as you are trying to open a program that recently installed. This error arrived. The program can start because API MS Win CRT Utility L110.dll is missing from a computer. It's a very common issue and all you need to do is watch this video till the end without skipping it. Hello everyone. Welcome to Trick Evolution. In this very short video, I'll be fixing this error within 3 minutes. So, start the countdown. The first thing you need to do is open your favorite browser and search for the entire file name .dll. You can choose any result you want, I'm choosing the first one. This is not sponsored but I'll put the link in the description. Here you can see a few download options based on the architecture and version. To know your architecture and version, click on start and search for system information. Here you can see mine is 64 bit and I'm um, updated so I'll be downloading the top 64 bit one. In this case this is the second one. I strongly recommend you to read this page, it has other fixing method also. As the download complete, hit open. The downloaded GIF has two files, one is the DLL and the one is readme. We need to place the DLL file. To move the DLL, first open this PC, local DC, Windows, and find a folder named System32. There it is. Then click on the downloaded zip, drag the DLL, and drop. I have already done this, so it is asking me to replace. And click on Continue to give administrator access. Before we proceed, let's check by typing the entire file name you can see the file is properly placed in a 32 bit folder so job done for 32 bit you can go and restart your computer only if you are a 64 bit users like me open this pc one more time local dixie windows and this time find the folder name syswow64 there it is. This is the home of 64 bit DLLs. And similarly, drag and drop. Check this one more time. Yeah, it is perfectly placed in the 64 bit folder. So, job is done. And finally, restart your computer. In extremely rare cases, if there are T-lockers, you need to download and install Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable and install your program again, and that will surely fix it. And that's all. If you follow me step by steps, you'll no longer have that problem left. Please let me know how you feel about this video. And do not forget to like and subscribe.